hizi hapa ni, ni fake. Kwa hiyo ukiangalia hata rangi zake ni lazima wale wanaopewa sasa wawe makini kujua ni rangi halisi na hizi ambazo ni za kutengeneza. Na tisa mwezi wa tisa ishirini shina tatu majira ya saa saba na nusu wa subuhi tulifanikiwa kuwakamata watu wawili. Mmoja ni Mzambia na mwingine ni Mtanzania. Mmoja na miaka hamsini na tisa na mwingine na miaka hamsini. Wakiwa wanatenda kosa la kutengeneza fedha bandia za Zambia. Mbali na kutengeneza pia walikamatwa na, na baadhi ya noti kwa mchanganuo kuatao. Walikamatwa na noti bandia mbili za nchini Zambia zenye thamani ya kwacha hamsini kila moja. Pia walikamatwa na karatasi kumi zenye ukubwa wa A4 zimechapishwa kwacha ya hamsini kwa idadi ya noti 36 lakini pia walikamatwa na karatasi moja ya A4 ilichapishwa noti nne zenye thamani ya kwacha moja mafanikio haya tumeyapata kwa sababu tuna ushirikiano na benki kuu ya Zambia pamoja na benki kuu ya Tanzania kama ninavyosema kila mara kwamba Polisi ya tuwezi kufanya kazi peke yetu. Na ndio maana hata leo kwenye presi hii, tuko na Dr. James Machemba, ambaye ni mkurugenzi wa watawi ila benki kuwe ambea, lakini pia tuko na Mr. Mwola na yoto, ambaye ni director wa security benki ya, ya Zambia. Aitha watu kumiwa hao, walikamatwa pia na vitu vingine, walikuwa na visu viwili, vikubwa, kimoja kidogo mkasi mmoja ambao wanatumia kwa ajili ya kukatia hizo karatasi sasa zionekane kama ni noti lakini pia tulikamata vitambulisho viwili huyo mzambe alikuwa na vitambulisho viwili kimoja cha kwake binafsi lakini kingine sio cha kwake ni rai kwa jeshi la polisi mkoa wa Songwe kwamba Tunaendelea kuchunguza kwa sababu wanaotengeneza fedha bandia na mtandao mkubwa. Kwamba tunaendelea kufatulia, tuweze kwa kamata watu wengine ambao wanashirikiana na hawa ambao tumewakamata. Na tunawakamata kwa sababu gani? Utengenezaji wa noti bandia ni uhudumu uchumi. Hizi fedha zikiingia kwenye mzunguko ina maana pia zinaathiri uchumi wa nchi. Lakini pia zinaathiri uchumi wa mtu mmoja mmoja kwa sababu kwa mfano mtu anaenda mnadani na noti bandia mtu anaweza kwenda kuuza ngombe kule akakuta amerudi nyumbani hana fedha bali amerudi na makaratasi kama tutakavyo kuwa tunaoonesha ndio wakamata naye lakini katika uchunguzi wetu pia tume tumeangalia ni kwa nini kunakuwa rais ya watu za hizo fedha bandia tukagundua kwamba kwanza upatikanaji wa vifaa ambavyo wanatumia kwa mfano kompyuta wanatumia printer wanatumia CPU vitu ambavyo ni rahisi kuvipata lakini hata hiyo mashine ya kukatia ambayo pia huwa zinatumika kwenye stationaries lakini pia tukagundua kwamba urahisi pia wa wasomi kutumia vifaa hivi unapelekea watu wanakaa wanaangalia namna ya kuweza kutengeneza kitu fulani na wamefanikiwa kama mtakavyoziona hizo noti hapo katika mahojiano walikuwa kwenye muendelezo wa kuanza kutengeneza fedha za kimarekani yaani dola na tulipo wahoji kwamba hizo dola wakizipata wana, wanasipeleka wapi wakasema kwamba walikuwa na mpango wa kuzipeleka geita kwenye machimbo Kwa hiyo naonekana pia watu wanao chimba madini. Wawe makini sana kwa sababu wanaweza wakauza madini yao kwa dola fake. Lakini pia wakasema mbali na hapo. Walikuwa wanaelekea sasa kutengeneza fedha za kitanzania. Na hizo fedha za kitanzania kama nilivyo sema mara nyingi wanafizia wale watu wanao kuenda mnadani ambao wana haraka ya kuuza vitu vyao kwa ajili ya kununua na kuuza. Kwa hiyo pia na watu wa minadani nao tunawapa tayadari kwamba wanapopewa zile fedha wawe makini kuzipokea ili wasije wakauziwa au wakapewa fedha ambazo ni bandia
tunachosema ni kwamba tutaendelea kufuatilia tutawakamata na kuwafikisha kwenye vyombo vinavyostahili sasa watu mpaka sio eneo la kuchezea tunashirikiana na Zambia na tunashirikiana na BNT kuhakikisha kwamba yote anayefanya hii biashara tunamkamata na kumfikisha kwenye vyombo inavyohusika fedha hizi ambazo ni fake benki kuu kama nilivyo sema pale awali ni kwamba tunatoa elimu kubwa sana kwa wananchi na katika kipindi kile cha kilimo wakati watu wanavuna mazao yao benki kuu iliweza kutembelea sehemu mbalimbali kwenye minada kwenye mikusanyiko ambapo kuna watu inatoa elimu hiyo kuonyesha ni namna gani ya kuweza kustambua fedha zetu za kitanzania kwa hiyo benki kuu siku zote inatoa hiyo awareness kwa kuhusu fedha hizo fake mara nyingi tunatoa hizo hizo awareness tunakwenda kwenye mabenki ya biashara kama kuna watu pale tunawaelimisha tuna lakini vile vile na wale wenye 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 hama agents wa, wa wa commercial banks Una, wale ambao wana, ni wakubwa zaidi na wenye tunawaelimisha namna gani ya kuweza kuzitambua hizo fedha kwa sababu kuna watu ambao wanaenda wana wanaweka pesa kwenye mpesa au wanaenda kubadilisha pale lakini anajikuta kwamba amekusanya fedha ambazo ni fake lakini anapokuja kuzipeleka benki anaambiwa kwamba hizi fedha ni fake kwa hiyo anakula hasara kwa hiyo na wenyewe tunawaelimisha sana na kwenye magulio mbalimbali mbali, minada mbalimbali mbali, tunaelimisha ili watu waweze kufahamu kitu kama hicho na tunajua kama mtu akijua kwamba fedha hii ni fake akaitambua mapema hata hao ambao wanatengeneza watajua kwamba tumeshajulikana kwa hiyo wataweza kuacha hiyo biashara ambayo ni biashara haramu kuu kushirikiana na vyombo vya dola uh, tunashirikiana kwa pamoja ili kuweza kupunguza tatizo hili na kuliondoa kabisa katika siku zinazokuja kwa sheria za nchi hatua mbalimbali ambazo zinazinachukuliwa zina, zina, zina ni upande wa jeshi la polisi ambalo unafanya una, una, una kazi yake kuweza kushughulika na hao watu na kama mnafahamu hao waliokamatwa sasa hizi wako polisi na mambo mengine ambayo ni ya kipolisi ya kisheria ya kimahakama yatafata Zambia and uh, Bank of Tanzania have co collaborated uh, in, a, in a lot of areas uh, but uh, of recent was the signing of the MOU between the Bank of Zambia and Bank of Tanzania in 2018 which actually took place uh, in, uh, here at Nakonde Tunduma uh, border uh, where uh, uh, Professor Luoga yeah? yes. yes, and uh, our Dr. Kalialia who are governors for the two banks uh, signed that MOU on the convertibility as well as uh, repatriation of, uh, of our various currencies. Uh, the border, we, we do a lot of transactions uh, where Zambians come on the Zambian side, on the Tanzanian side to buy a lot of goods which we take back and uh, the, the banks felt that it was necessary that uh, on each side of the, of the border we accept the other, the other uh, countries as currencies and then uh, when they accumulate they, they are picked. Um, as the, 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 that process went on we noticed that of course there was another negative thing that has been growing where instances of counterfeits were being uh, noted at both sides of the border. And that's how we came with, with an agreement. We, we have been working with the Bank of Tanzania, uh, mainly in sharing information. If, we, if Zambia has got information, we'll pass it on to our colleagues in Tanzania, Bank of Tanzania, and, and uh, vice versa. And uh, this is what has culminated to this event that we're having today. Whoever is involved in the, in the making of counterfeit notes will, will be arrested and, and taken to court. Uh, we, we are ready to, uh, to, to assist our colleagues from Tanzania, uh, ensuring that those who make the Zambian culture are taken to court by us issuing reports and uh, as well as any assistance that they may be required. Uh, they may be required. If people run into Zambia, we we'll facilitate through the, the established channels to ensure that uh, uh, the matter is exhausted. Tazamaji wa J Online TV ili uo kwanza kupata habari kutoka J TV. Subscribe. Kisha like. Halafu bonyeza kengele hapo chini ili uo kwanza kupata taarifa pindi habari mpya inapokuwa imewadia.